Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 10 students. Sa video na ito ay igagayad ko kayo dito sa inyong learning task number 2. Use the remainder theorem to find the remainder in each of the halving. Then, check using synthetic division. Okay. Reminder lang mga anak, iniibahan ko yung mga given ha. Dito sa number 1, we have x raised to 4 minus x cubed plus 7 divided by x plus 2. So, ang pinakauna natin gagawin para makuha natin yung remainder using the remainder theorem, kunin lang natin yung value ng C. So, equit lang natin yung x plus 2 sa 0. Then, transpose natin si positive 2 para makuha yung x magiging negative 2. So, ang x natin is equal to negative 2. Ngayon, si negative 2 i-substitute natin dito sa polynomial. So, that is P of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 raised to 4 minus negative 2 raised to 3 plus 7. Okay? Next, simplify. P of negative 2 equals negative 2 raised to 4. So, that is negative 2 times negative 2 equals times negative 2 times negative 2. So, negative 2 times negative 2 equals 4 times Negative 2 equals negative 8 times negative 2 equals positive 16. So, 16 negative 2 raised to 3 is equal to negative 8. Okay? Plus 7. Then, simplify muna natin itong my parenthesis P of negative 2 equals 16. Distribute natin yung negative dito, magiging positive na siya. Plus 7. Then, P of negative 2 is equal to 16 plus 8 is equal to 24. 24 plus 7 is equal to 31. So, P of negative 2 is equal to positive 31. Ibig sabihin, ito yung magiging remainder ng polynomial na to. Let's see nyo. Next, number 2. X cubed minus 2X squared plus X plus 10 divided by X minus 3. So, kunin natin yung X minus 3 is equal to 0. Transpose natin si negative 3 magiging positive 3. So, x equals positive 3. I-substitute natin si 3 dito sa ating polynomial. So, p of positive 3 equals 3 raised to 3 minus 2 times ang x natin is 3 raised to 2 plus 3 plus 10. So, then, Next, P of 3 is equal to, that is 3 times 3 equals 9, times 3 equals 27, minus 2, times 3 times 3 equals 9, and then 3 plus 10 equals positive 13. P of 3 is equal to 27, minus 2 times 9 equals 18, plus 13. P of 3 equals... Pagsamahin muna natin yung parehong positive, 27 plus 13 is equal to 40, then minus 18, that is equal to 2, then 3 minus 1 equals 2. Neg positive, 22. So, this is the remainder of number 2. Ang next na gagawin, iti-check natin siya, di ba, using synthetic division. So, tingnan natin kung magiging pareho yung remainder nila. Palitan natin ito ng kanyang opposite that is negative 2 and then naka-arrange naman na ito in decreasing powers pero dito merong kulang ano yung kulang niya? yung x raised to 2 pero kailangan 0 yung kanyang coefficient and then plus and then 0 x raised to 1 wala din ba or x na lang kailangan pa rin natin yan ilagay para makuha natin yung sagot kailangan kompleto pa rin yung terms natin Yun nga lang, ang magiging coefficient niya dapat is 0. Okay? So, that is 
Yung x raised to 4, ang coefficient niya is 1. Then, x raised to 3, ang coefficient niya is negative 1. Yung x raised to 2, kailangan 0, kasi wala naman siya dito. Yung x naman is 0 din. Then, yung constant na positive 7. Nasundan? Then, bring down positive 1. 1 times negative 2 equals negative 2. I-add natin, pareho sila ng sign, so that is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 2 equals positive 6. Then, 0 plus 6 equals 6. 6 times negative 2 is equal to negative 12. Then, 0 plus negative 12 equals negative 12. Negative 12 times negative 2 equals positive 24. Then, 7 plus 24 is equal to 31. Okay? So, diba pareho sila ng remainder? Yan. Na-check naman. So, equal sila. Alright? Dito naman sa number 2, ano yung x natin? That's, that is 3. So, 3. Then, tingnan natin kung kumpleto ba yung ating polynomial. So, 3, 2, 1. Then, x raised to 0. Kumpleto yung ating number 2. That is, positive 1, negative 2, positive 1, positive 10. Okay? Then, bring down positive 1. 1 times 3 equals 3. Negative 2 plus 3 equals positive 1. 1 times 3 equals 3. Uh, ito ay 1. 1 ito. 1 plus 3 equals 4. Then, 4 times 3 equals 12. Then, 10 plus 12 is equal to 22. So, yung remainder natin is 22 rin. Nag-equal naman sila sa P of 3. Number 3, we have x raised to 4 minus 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 6x plus 4 divided by x minus 2. So, kunin muna natin yung kanyang x. x minus 2 is equal to 0. Transpose natin to magiging positive 2. So, that is p of positive 2 is equal to 2 raised to 4 minus 3 times 2 raised to 3. Plus 4 times 3 raised to 2 minus 6 times 2 plus 4. Okay? Then, simplify. P of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 times 2 equals 16 minus 3. Then, 2 times 2 times 2 equals positive 8 plus, ah, dapat 2 pala to. 2 times 2 equals 4 minus 6 times 2 equals 12 plus 4. Simplify natin. P of positive 2 is equal to 16. Negative 3 times 8 is equal to negative 24. Then 4 times 4 equals 16. Negative 12 plus 4 magkaiba ng sign so i-subtract natin. That would be equal to negative 8. Then simplify. 16, pagsamahin muna natin yung magkapareho ng sign. 16 plus 16 equals 32. And then, negative 24 plus negative 8 equals negative 32. Meaning, 32 minus 32 is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, ang remainder natin is equal to 0. So, 0 yung magiging remainder. Okay? Then, gamitin natin yung synthetic division to check. That is negative, uh, positive 2. Then, ang ating coefficient ay positive 1, negative 3, positive 4. Naka-arrange dapat siya in decreasing powers. Negative 6, then positive 4. Then, bring down positive 1. 1 times 2 equals 2. Negative 3 plus 2 equals negative 1. Negative 1 times 2 equals negative 2. 4 plus negative 2 equals positive 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. Then, negative 6 plus 4 equals negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 is equal to negative 4. And then, 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. So, remainder niya dito is 0, meaning to say, tama yung nakuha nating sagot. Alright? Nasundan na ninyo ang pagkuha ng ating Remainder by Remainder Theorem. Next, dito naman tayo sa number 4. So, x plus 3 is equal to 0. That would be equal to x 
is equal to negative 3. So, that is P of negative 3 equals, ano yung polynomial natin? X raised to 4. So, negative 3 raised to 4. Minus 16 times negative 3 raised to 3 plus 18 times negative 3 raised to 2 minus 128. Okay? Then, P of negative 3 is equal to positive 81. Minus 16, then negative 3 raised to 3 is equal to negative 27. Gumamit na lang kayo ng calc para mas mabilis. Plus 18, negative 3 squared is positive 9 minus 128. Okay? Simplify. P of negative 3 is equal to 81. Negative 16 times negative 27. Negative 16 times negative 27 equals positive 432. Then 18 times 9 is equal to 162. Minus 128. Okay? 81 plus 432 plus 162 minus 128 is equal to 547. So, P of negative 3 is equal to 547. Now, let's check by using synthetic division. That is negative 3. And then, kompleto ba yung terms natin? So, 4, 3, 2, walang x raised to 1. Or x lang, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, dadagdagan natin ito ng 0. So, that is positive 1, negative 16, 18, neg uh, 0, and then negative 128. Nasundan ninyo? Kasi dapat meron itong x raised to 1, di ba? Or yung x kasi is x na lang. So, ang coefficient niya, sabi ko nga kanina, is 0. Kasi kapag hindi nyo nilagyan, mamamali yung sagot. Okay? So, bring down positive 1, then 1 times negative 3 equals negative 3. Negative 16 plus negative 3 equals negative 19. Negative 19 times negative 3 equals positive 57. 18 plus 57 equals 75. And then, 75 times negative 3 equals negative 225. 0 plus negative 225 equals negative 225. Negative 225 times negative 3 equals positive 675. And then, negative 128 plus 675. Magkaiba sila ng sign, so isubtract natin. That would be equal to... 500, 547. Ang sign ng mas malaking number is positive, kaya positive yung sagot. So, ang remainder natin is positive 547. The same lang din sila dito. Alright? Lastly, we have 3x squared plus 5x cubed minus 8 divided by x minus 5. So, x minus 5 is equal to 0. That would be equal to x is equal to positive 5. So, p of positive 5 is equal to 3 times 5 raised to 2 plus 5 times 5 raised to 3. Or pwede namang, wag nyo nang balik rin, pero sa synthetic kailangan i-arrange natin siya, okay? Minus 8. Then, p of 5 equals 3. Then, 5 times 5 equals 25 plus 5. 5 raised to 3 is equal to 125 minus 8. P of 5 equals 3 times 25 equals 75. And then, 5 times 125 is equal to positive 625 minus 8. Simplify. P of 5 is equal to 625 plus 75 is equal to 700 minus 8 equals 692. So, P of 5 equals 692. Gamitin natin yung synthetic division that is 5. And then, sabi ko nga kanina kailangan yung i-arrange to in decreasing power. So, kailangan mauna yung 5x cubed. Then, sunod yung 
3x squared. And then, walang x, di ba? So, magdagdag tayo ng positive 0x and then minus 8. So, ganyan. Kopyahin nyo mga coefficient. That is 5, 3, 0, negative 8. Then, bring down 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. 3 plus 25 equals 28. 28 times 5 equals 140. 0 plus 140 is 140. Times 5 is equal to 700. And then, negative 8 plus 700 is equal to positive 692. So, nag-equal sila, meaning tama yung nakuhang remainder. Nakuha ninyo? Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!